Hello! Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I am Jana Martinez and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this beginner-friendly infinity scarf. For more information please check out my website jannamartinez.com or the drop-down description box of this video. Thanks for watching! Now let's get started. For materials, I am using two Karen Sprinkle Cakes. This is a super bulky acrylic wool blend yarn, and you will need 386 yards total, or 454 grams. You will also need an L 8.00 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a wool needle for weaving in ends, and a tape measure. Begin with a slip knot of your choice. Insert your hook into the slip knot and now chain 16. To chain, you're going to grab your working yarn and pull it through that slip knot. That's one chain. This loop on your hook never counts as a chain. Once you have chained 16, we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from hook. So you can count these chains by counting these V's that run down the chain. So as you see here, I have one, two, three chains. So into this one right here is where we're going to half double crochet. To half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that chain, and I'm only grabbing one loop of that chain. As you see, the chain is actually made up of three different loops. One, two, three. But I'm just gonna grab that top one right here. Now grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is a half double crochet. In this pattern, this chain two here does not count as a stitch. Now place a half double crochet into each chain all the way across. A quick tip for the half double crochet, when you yarn over, use your first finger to hold that yarn on your hook as you put your hook into the chain. At the end of row one, you will have 14 half double crochet. To easily count your stitches, I like to count the posts of the stitch. To do this, you're going to pull your work apart just a little bit like this, and you can see this upright right here, that is your stitch. Remember this turning chain here does not count as a stitch. Chain two and turn. Row two is going to be a row that we're going to repeat until the scarf is of desired length. For this row, instead of going into the top of our stitches like we would normally do with a lot of patterns, we are going to go in between the stitches. So again, these spaces next to the post of our stitch is where we're going to be placing our next stitches. We would normally go right across the top, and those two yarns is where we would place our next stitch. For this pattern, we're going to go down in between this space right here. So again, for the half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that space between the posts of the stitch, pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And we're just going to continue this all the way across. So yarn over, you're gonna find that space between your stitches, 
insert your hook, grab up your loop. I have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Once you get to the end of the row, this turning chain here creates one last space. So that's where your last stitch is going to go. Chain two and turn. As you see, your scarf may look like this in the very beginning. You can just pull it out with your hands like this and continue crocheting. From here, just repeat row two again until your scarf is of desired length. For mine, I'm going to make it between 62 and 64 inches long. Remember to count your stitches periodically to make sure your scarf stays nice and straight. If you lose stitches or gain stitches, you may experience your scarf getting wider or narrower. If you come to the end of your yarn and you want to add a new skein, this is my favorite method. So you wanna make sure you have a good long tail still at the end here. Go ahead and start your next stitch. Once you have three loops on your hook for your half double crochet, you're just going to pause and then grab the tail to your new yarn. Here I have placed a slip knot into the end. Grab that slip knot with your hook and pull it through those three loops on your hook. From here, I take the new tail here and the old tail and I just give them a tie. Those go to the back of my work where I can take my yarn needle and weave them in. From here, I just continue on with my new skein of yarn. Once your scarf is of desired length and you want to finish off your scarf, just grab your scissors and cut a nice long tail. Then pull that tail right through the last stitch on your work. Place your wool needle on the end of your yarn. Fold your scarf so it's nice and flat like so. Then just sew the two ends of your scarf together. From here, just weave in your tails. I hope you enjoy making this beautiful infinity scarf. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and make sure to visit me on other social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!